Um, today's story is Sue Hendrick's Cake. Cake had just received an, an exciting invite. I've never been to a party before, so he didn't know what to expect. But he was sure about one thing. He wanted to look his best. Fish didn't know what a cake could wear. He'd never been to a party either. Hmm, said Fish. Nope, said Fish. I don't think so. What about a hat? suggested Fish. Good thinking, said Cake. So off Cake went to buy a hat. Cake tried on lots of hats in the shop, but none of them were quite right. Is it for a special occasion? asked the shop assistant. A wedding perhaps? No, said Cake, a party. Oh, said the shop assistant. In that case, I have just the thing. And he disappeared out the back. Here you go, sir, said the shop assistant. You'll be irresistible in this. Thank you very much, said Cake. He couldn't wait to get home and show the fish his new hat. Are you ready? Cake called from the bathroom. Ta-da! You're cracking it, shouted Fish. Cake was soon on his way to the party, dressed in his new hat. Deedly dee, dum dum dum, off to the party to have some fun. The cake was a bit nervous when he arrived, but when everyone saw him, they cheered. Cake's here! A party isn't a party without a cake, they said, and in they went. Cake was having so much fun at the party. There was dancing, there was lots of games, but then the singing started. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Cake was getting a bit a bit of a bad feeling about this. Oh crumbs! Suddenly there was a gust of wind and everything went black. Then there was a smell of raspberries and the cake felt a wibble wobble hand grab hold of him and a wibbly wobbly voice said Quick! Run for it cake! The end. Meanwhile, back at the front door, ding dong, I do hope I haven't missed the party. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story and I'm so glad they can eat the cake. <gasps> now, hopefully see you soon.